Hey Pokey friends, I am telling you guys about a Nuzlocke that I play when I play Pokemon, and it's called Lone Wolf Lock. It is less of a one that I thought about randomly and more of a one that I've adapted to playing over the course of playing Pokemon. It does encompass a normal Nuzlocke rules where you have to capture the first Pokemon that you see, you have to give it a nickname and then if it is fainted that means you have to release it or get rid of it somehow but i add an extra rule saying you can't capture any pokemon that you have to trade in order to evolve and the reason how i've adapted this rule is because i never really had friends that played pokemon so i could never trade any pokemon to evolve them so I could never have like a Haunter to get a Gengar, or I could never have a like a Swirlix to evolve it. I would always just have that Pokemon, always thinking I would level it up, but it would never approach to the level of evolving because you have to trade it. So I've learned over the years to not capture those Pokemon, avoid those, and then play the game with other Pokemon. And with this Nuzlocke, the rule is, if it, if any of these Pokemon that you do see as the first in the route or the new area that you've encountered, you cannot capture that Pokemon and you've lost the ability to capture any Pokemon in that route. And that sort of establishes the lone wolf aspect where it's tough to be a lone wolf. Which a little bit is, but at the same time it's not, but that's how you you would play this lone wolf lock and the pokemon that you can't capture which is all the pokemon within their families respectively would be the abra family the machoke family the geodude family the ghastly family now you could capture poliwhirl to get poliwrath but you can't evolve it to politoed you could capture slowpoke to get a slowbro but you can't capture slowking you can't capture Onyx family, the Seahorse family, the Scyther family, the Porygon family, the Clampearl family, the Rhyhorn family, the Electabuzz family, the Magmar family, the Duskull family, the Rogan Rolla family, the Timber family, the Carablast family, the Shellmelt family, the Feebas family, which I'm mad. It used to be evolution by beauty, like maxing out the beauty level, and now I gotta trade it with a prism scale. I'm mad, I'm upset, but going on with the list, the Spritzy family, the Swirlix family, the Phantom family, and the Pumpkaboo family. Now if you guys have any ideas about how to improve this kind of Nuzlocke, or maybe some type of alterations to the Nuzlocke, you could definitely leave comments below. And if you do like Pokemon content and want to see more Nuzlocke that I do, you can subscribe to the channel. With that said, thank you guys and hopefully we'll see each other soon playing Nuzlocke.